Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. The refractive index for light traveling from medium X to medium Y is 4 by 3. So the light is traveling from one medium to another. So 4 by 3 is basically water. So medium Y can be treated as water and medium X can be taken as air because we take the ratio of the refractive index of Y divided by that of the X. Anyways, let us move. The refractive index of light traveling from medium Y to medium Z is 3 by 5 further. So it becomes 3 by 5. What is the refractive index of light traveling from medium X to medium Z? Okay, so this question is more about the refractive indices only. It's not about the Snell's law. Let us now see. So there are three mediums. So I can just draw these mediums like this. Let me call this medium as X, this as Y, and this as Z. So when the light is coming here, so the refractive index is becoming denser. So first of all, it will bend like this because the light is moving from rarer to denser. So it is going to bend towards the normal. So now further, now the net refractive index is lesser than one. Uh, it becomes 3.5. So it will be moving away from the normal now. It would be going like this. But let us see what is happening. Let us say that this is N1, this is N2, and this is N3. And so the refractive index of light when it travels from X to Y will be N2 divided by N1 and it is given as 4 by 3. Now when it is passing from Y to Z, let, that is at this junction, the refractive index will be N3 divided by N2 and it will become 3 by 5 and what do we want we want another another uh, thing like let us say this is x and this is z so the light is directly passing through this so what will be the uh, net uh, refractive index <coughs> so this will be n3 n1 so that answer will be n3 divided by n1 so how can we find n3 by n1 by substituting n2 or by multiplying these two like n2 by n1 multiply by n3 by n2 will be equal to 4 by 3 multiply by 3 by 5. So I have just multiplied the equations like the right hand side is multiplied by right hand side, left hand side is multiplied by the left hand side. So overall 3 and 3 gets cancelled out, n2 and n2 gets cancelled out. So our answer will come out to be 4 by 5. So our answer is going to be A. It's a very conceptual question I would say, beautifully placed and this is how we do it. Let us verify the answer from the mark scheme. The answer is A. And yes, the answer in the mark scheme is A. So my dear students, this is how we do this question. This is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. All the best. Bye.